Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to install Linux Mint 22.2 Zara from start to finish, the complete guide for beginners. Whether you're switching from Windows, trying out Linux for the first time, or setting up a secondary OS, this video will take you through everything you need to know step by step. Let's jump right in. Before you install, let's quickly go over the system requirements. Linux Mint is super lightweight and runs on almost any modern computer. Minimum requirements, two gigabytes of RAM, but four gigabytes or more is recommended. 20 gigabytes of disk space. Again, 100 gigabytes or more is better. A 64-bit processor, a USB stick with at least four gigabytes storage, and of course, an internet connection for downloading updates, if your PC can run Windows 10, it can easily handle Linux Mint. Now, Linux Mint comes in three desktop environments, and this is where many beginners get confused. Let's break it down. Cinnamon. This is Mint's flagship edition. It looks and feels the most like Windows and is perfect for most users. Mate. This is a lighter version of Cinnamon. It's fast and stable. Great for older PCs. Um, XFCE, this one is the lightest. If your computer is really old or has low specs, go with XFCE in short. You know, if you're on a modern PC, go with Cinnamon. It's the best all-round experience. I will use Cinnamon. You can use a torrent application to download the ISO file. The ISO is basically a digital copy of the installation DVD. Next, we need to make a bootable USB. For that, we'll use Rufus, a free Windows tool. Go to rufus.ie. Once downloaded, open Rufus. No installation needed. Now insert your USB drive. It should be at least eight gigabytes. Rufus will automatically detect your USB drive. Click select and browse for your Linux Mint ISO. Choose your partition scheme, GPT or MBR, depending on your system. MBR, use this if your computer uses legacy BIOS, that is if your computer is old. GPT use this if your system uses UEFI, which most modern computers do. Leave everything else default. Click Start and let Rufus create the bootable USB. This process usually takes about five to 10 minutes Once Rufus is done, restart your computer and enter the boot menu. Depending on your computer brand, you can press one of these keys. Dell, F12, HP, Escape, or F9. Lenovo, F12, or F8. Asus, F8. Select your USB drive and press enter. You'll then boot into the Linux Mint live environment. On the desktop, double click Install Linux Mint. Choose your language and keyboard layout. Choose whether to install multimedia codecs. I recommend checking that box. Select the installation type. If you want to dual boot with Windows, select Install alongside Windows and Mint will handle the partitioning for you. If you want to erase your entire disk and install Linux Mint, choose Erase Disk and Install Linux Mint. That is what I want to do since I want to replace Windows 10 with Linux Mint. Mint will create two partitions. One is the boot partition. The other is where everything else will be installed.
Next, select your time zone, enter your username and password, and click Install Now. The installation will begin, it usually takes around 10 to 15 minutes. Once the installation finishes, remove your USB and reboot your computer. You'll now boot into your new Linux Mint 22.2 Zara desktop. Go through the welcome screen, update your system, and explore the software manager. You're now ready to use Mint as your daily driver, and that's it. Your Linux Mint 22.2 installation is complete. If this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more Linux and Windows tutorials every week.